Chapter 1, Parrots and Plans. Lottie Boffin lay on her tummy sketching an enormous spider. Her favourite wildlife show, Every Little Thing, was coming to an end. The presenter, Samira Breeze, smiled at the camera and announced, Don't forget to send in your nature notes if you want to win a place on our annual wildlife adventure. The winners will have a chance to be a presenter like me. Fizzy bubbles of excitement whooshed through Lottie's body. She loved nature. It was her dream to win that prize. And remember, Sam continued, you can help your local wildlife by creating a small pond in your garden from a recycled container, just like we showed you on this programme. Every little thing matters. I can use the old dustbin lid to make a pond, Lottie thought. That'll get frogs into my garden and make a great page in my nature notebook. I'll go and make one right now. She jumped to her feet, startling her snoozing dog, Einstein. Woof! He barked in alarm. There was a flapping of bright red, blue and gold feathers and an indignant squawk! <coughs> Lottie giggled. Her parrot always made her laugh. She'd inherited Nacho from great art crew who had rehomed him from a rescue centre and from the instant he first met Lottie, Nacho had decided that she was his new favourite human being. <coughs> Nacho folded his wings and he opened his beak. Woof! Lottie groaned. Nacho did a very good imitation of Einstein and he loved winding him up. Woof! 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 Einstein barked. It's a good thing the ghosts are on holiday, Lottie murmured. Their neighbours, the goods, didn't like noise at all. Shh, Lottie told Einstein. Shh, Nacho murmured to himself as Lottie found a doggy chew and made Einstein sit quietly for it. Now, who could she ask to help with the pond? Her best friend, Philip, had gone off to visit his relatives and Mum was busy in the shop. Her twin brother, Al, had disappeared into the garage after breakfast to work on his top secret science experiment, making a time machine. Lottie went to find him. Al was staring at a heap of bike parts. Can you help me make a pond, she asked. Sorry, said Al. Mum says I have to put our bikes back together and I've got the parts all muddled up. He scratched his head. This is going to take me all day. Hey, try asking the Parfits. Mr Parfit and his 10-year-old son, Noah, had recently moved into the empty house next door. Mr Parfit won't well, to help me make a pond. Lottie shuddered at the thought of what Mr. Parfit had done to his garden. It used to have grass and lots of flowers and bushes like her own back garden. It had even had a pond, perfect for frogs and insects and all sorts of wildlife. But as soon as they'd settled in, Mr. Parfit had turned it into a golf putting green with six holes with flags in them. Mr. Parfit says he doesn't like nature, he likes golf. Lottie sighed. He likes things to be neat and tidy. What about Noah? He might help. I'll see if he's around. Lottie went outside and carefully stepped up on the rim of the big old flower pot next to the fence. When she stood on that, she could just about see over into the next door neighbour's garden. Mr. Parfit was jumping up and down on his fake grass. There was no sign of Noah. Nacho copied Mr. Parfit and bobbed his head up and down. Hola! He squawked. Lottie knew that he'd lived with Great Aunt Prue in South America and had been rescued there as a fledging, so it wasn't surprised that he still said hello to everyone in Spanish. Ah, oh, Lottie! Mr. Parfit greeted her with a wave of his golf club. Please, don't let your parrot fly over my garden again. He seems to think it's a good place for mm, his mm, um, toilet needs. I have enough trouble with ants today. They're all over the place. I'm afraid they'll get into the house just when Petunia is coming for tea. Petunia? Screeched Nacho. Who's Petunia? Lottie asked. Mr. Parfit's face went red. She is my new um, golfing partner, he said. I can't wait for her to see my putting green. What if she likes gardens that have flowers in them? Lottie asked. Oh, Petunia doesn't like plants, Mr. Parfit snorted. She says they make a garden look untidy. She's a very tidy person.
Like you, Lottie commented, gripping hold of the fence as the flower pot she was standing on began to tilt. She's very like me, Mr. Parfit said in delight. I want everything to be perfect for her. Noah's been helping me bake a cake. But before she arrives, I need to work out what to do about these ants. I think there's a nest. He crouched down and stared at them. She jumped off the flower pot just in time to stop it from tipping over. There was a startled squawk as Nacho took off her own shoulder and circled over the parfait's garden. But he quickly stepped back up on the flower pot. Nacho, she called. He flew down onto her shoulder and nibbled her ear affectionately. But it was too late. One of the flags on Mr. Parfit's golf course was splattered in. Parrot poo.